Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be filming a what I got for Christmas video. Um, it's the day after Christmas right now, so I figured this was a good time to do this and I get to wear my Santa hat one last time for the year. Um, I'm going to go ahead and throw this out there. I didn't get, well one, I'm not doing this to brag, I just, I know people are usually interested to see what other people got for Christmas. And two, um, I didn't really ask for a lot of presents this year, so I mainly got, like, money or cash or something, or, like, gift cards, so if you don't see a lot of presents in this video, that's why, because, um, I don't know, I just didn't really, like, want too much this year, and I'd, sometimes I would just rather have money to, like, buy other things than just for somebody to buy me something, um, if I don't really want it, like, I don't really know how to explain this, but I just didn't really ask for a lot of things this year. I did ask for a couple of things, and I got most of, I got, um, most of that from my boyfriend, because he's the only one I really gave a list to. So, um, yeah, anyway, we're just gonna go ahead and get started. So, from, I'm gonna start with my family first, and then I'll do my boyfriend last. So, from my stepdad, I got a gift card to Walmart and then two um, Cheesecake Factory gift cards. Cheesecake Factory is like my favorite restaurant of all time. Um, I go there a lot. I always get the kale and quinoa salad and a slice of cheesecake and these are like two $25 gift cards so I will definitely be using that very very soon because like I said I love Cheesecake Factory. I'm obsessed with it. I could eat there every day. I could eat that salad from the Cheesecake Factory every day and not get sick of it. So for my mother, she gave me a check for $200. I'm not going to show the check just because it has her personal information, but I do have it right here because I wanted to remember like, like, oh, she gave me a check for $200. So I just included that to like, um, remember to say, but like I said, I'm not going to show the check obviously because it has her personal information on it and I just don't want to give that out to people and then she also gave me a she gave me and my two other sisters um, we all three got a candle from Bath and Body Works so the one I got is winter candy apple and obviously if you watch my dumpster dive videos you know that I love Bath and Body Works I'm crazy about their candles and I just love the store in general but like I mainly go there for their um, candles so I got winter candy apple and this says it's red apple candied orange maple leaf fresh cinnamon and winter rose petals and it has a Christmas tree for the lid and I love this like um, pretty pink packaging um, it's like more pink than red smells really good it's really fruity um the winter candy apple is like one of their top three like favorite christmas scents that they always bring back they always bring back um vanilla bean noel winter candy apple and twisted peppermint and i have like all of those in like shower gel lotion body spray form but i've never had any of their candles so i'm really excited to try this one because this is like one of my favorite scents of all time. It smells so good. Can't wait to burn that. And then from my sister, she gave me um, $40, which I already deposited that into my bank. And then she gave me and my other sister these like wooden nativity scenes. Um, neither one of us have a nativity scene for our houses, so um, I think she got this from Home Goods. I'm not really sure, but I like that it's wooden. Um, I don't know. I just think it's like really cool looking. I've never seen a nativity scene look like this before. So I'm really excited to like put this out next year for Christmas. And this is not a Christmas present. She was telling me about this yesterday morning when I was at her house and I said I wanted to try it. And she had... Um, an extra one because she bought she ordered these off of Amazon because her sister-in-law or somebody told her about these 
So she ordered a couple off of Amazon and then I said that I wanted to try it and I was like, how much was it? Because I wanted to go home and order it and she said that she would just give me an extra one. So this is a exfoliant foot, exfoliant foot peel. Um, it's called Baby Foot. Um, it's lavender scented. I've never try, uh, tried anything like this before. But, um, one of my problem areas for, like, really dry skin is, um, my feet. Um, obviously, you get, like, calluses and stuff from, like, walking on your feet. And I don't like to have any of that, like, showing, especially during, like, um, flip-flop or sandal season, like, in the spring and summer. So, I always try to take, like, really good care of my feet. So, um, I was excited to try this. I'm probably going to try this tonight or tomorrow. Um, sometime very soon, but they come with these, like, little plastic booties that you put on your feet, and you're supposed to leave them up for an hour, and then, um, I'm reading the directions. It says that in five to seven days, the dead skin cells will start to peel off your feet, so your feet are going to look kind of gross for a couple of days, but, um... It's going to leave your feet with really soft, smooth, pretty skin. And, um, like I said, I don't like to have, like, really disgusting feet during the spring and the summer. So, I might try this out once and then save the rest of them for the spring and the summer. But, I don't know if everybody will think this is weird, but I just wanted to try it because I'm a beauty lover. So, and then from my twin sister... I've been wanting the Too Faced Christmas in New York collection. Like, that was the one thing I wanted for Christmas, like very badly. So she bought me the Christmas in New York Grand Hotel Cafe. And it looks like this. This is the packaging. It looks like that on the back. Um, it just shows you like what comes inside the box. But um I bought the Paris collection when it came out last year and I was so in love with it that I saw that they were coming out with the New York collection that is very similar to the collection that came out with last year. So I figured since I love the Paris one so much that I would love the New York one. So this is the box that all the palettes are in. So you, oh there's a Christmas tree on the back. I didn't know that. I didn't see that yesterday. This has a, like a wreath on the front door, front door, and this is supposed to be like a little hotel in New York. Um, so you take the top off like that, and then you open the doors up, and there's more Christmas trees and like a lollipop and a candy cane, and there's some like presents and like Too Faced products down there, and there's more Too Faced products over here and presents. But it comes with a Better Than Sex Mascara. I can get this out. So there's the Better Than Sex Mascara. Most of the palettes from Too Faced like this come with some kind of like little sample product like this, which is either the too Faced Shadow Insurance or the Better Than Sex Mascara. So then it comes with three, these three palettes, but um, behind the palettes you can see some more of the design on the back. It's like a little cafe with like a menu and um, some bar stools and like a cappuccino maker and some like desserts. Like it just, they get me with their packaging. Like it's so adorable. Um, I'm a, such a sucker for, like, cute packaging, so, which is why Too Faced is, like, one of my favorite makeup brands, just because the packaging is so adorable, but, um, like I said, they come with these three palettes, and they are Peppermint Mocha, um, Gingerbread Cookie, and Eggnog Latte. So, the gingerbread cookie looks like that. It's 
kind of hard to like see the colors really well. Um, this like really pretty like purpley sparkly color. It's not really showing up on camera, but it's like really sparkly in person. It's called Winter Dream. I think that color looks absolutely gorgeous in person. Um, this Ginger Snap is a beautiful gold color. And then it comes with like a bronzer down here. And then on the packaging it just has like little gingerbreads and little um, star and Christmas tree cookies. And on the back it has the two from if you wanted to give this like individually to somebody. So, back. Um, next is eggnog latte and it has the same two from on the back. And then it just has this really cute like mint and green and pink design with like some ornaments on the front. I love mint green and pink. There's like two of my favorite colors. And it's got like a little eggnog latte right there. Um, and these are the colors for this palette. Um... I think the cold brew color is really pretty and then it comes with like a beautiful peachy blush called Peach Cobbler. Oh my god, they smell. This one smells really sweet. I wonder if the gingerbread one smells or has a scent to it. Let's see. It has a light gingerbread scent to it. Like, I think these palettes are supposed to have a scent to them. That's very interesting. I did not know that. So, the last palette is the Peppermint Mocha, which again has the um, little peppermints, the candy cane, and the little peppermint lollipop. And the same two from on the back. And these have like beautiful like pink and neutral colors in it with another like peachy pink blush. This one smells like peppermint. I think they're supposed to be scented to what the names of them are. So. I think this one's supposed to have like a peppermint mocha scent and then like the gingerbread cookie supposed to have a gingerbread scent and the eggnog latte is supposed to smell like eggnog latte. I like the peppermint mocha is like my favorite of the scents. Like that's the, the one that I smell the strongest. Okay, this smell really good. But I have not used any of this makeup yet. Um, I was waiting to show this in the video before I actually used it. Alright. So then from my boyfriend. I got the Just Dance 2017 game for the Xbox for the Connect. I'm a big just dance like game player I have every single one of them um I love the just dance games it's like my favorite way to work out um I think the songs are really catchy because I always like listen to top 40 um I like how they always include like some old school songs um some of the songs up on the just dance games are kind of weird like the international songs but, um, yeah, these are, like, my favorite way to work out, just, just, like, playing this. Um, if you play this for, like, an hour, you'll, um, get a good, like, cardio workout in. So, I love to do this for cardio. And it doesn't feel like I'm working out. So, I really love that, and I was really excited to get it, because, like I said, I have every one. So, I want to keep the collection going. So then, he also got me a bunch of stuff from the Too Faced Christmas in New York collection. So he got me this Too Faced Melted Matte 
um, liquid lipstick. It's peppermint mocha scented. And it's in the color candy cane. So this is the packaging. The name is candy cane. You can read that. That's probably too dark to read. But it is this like beautiful color. It's like a beautiful red color. It's got like the doe foot applicator. This smells like a peppermint mocha from Starbucks. That smells really good. And I can't wait to use this because I love um, red lips, obviously. So I can't wait to try this out. And then he got me um, this Too Faced Let It Glow Highlight and Blush Kit. So it comes with, let's see, this little like fluffy brush. It's like heart shaped on the handle. And you can like use this as like for the blush or the highlight. And it's really soft, which I love. I, I hate brushes that are like super scratchy. And I've never had a Too Faced um, makeup brush before, so. I'm excited to try out their brushes. Then it comes with like three actual products, which um, the blush is the Love Flush blush in Love Hangover. So these are like kind of small, but it's this really like peachy color. It looks a little dark on camera, but it's not that dark in person. It's swatched on my hand. Like the color is not that dark when you like actually swatch it and then it's like easily um, sheared out. So then this is the Too Faced Snow Bunny Luminous Bronzer and I've tried the Milk Chocolate and the There's another one that I've tried and I keep um, the Sweethearts bronzer, but I've never tried any of the other ones, so I'm excited to try this. Looks like that. I love that it has like a little pop of um, pink in it. It is like a, like a creamy white color. These are all like shimmery colors. Um, a little dark brown, the pink color, and then the one on the end is like a goldeny color. So I would just like swirl those all together and use it as a bronzer. And then this is the Candlelight Glow Highlighting Powder Duo in Rosy Glow. And it looks like that. It's like a creamy white and a pink. And I've never tried any of their highlighters either. So I'm excited for this little set. So then the next gift he got me was the Too Faced Naughty Kisses and Sweet Cheeks gift set. Oh, there's a dog right there. He's super cute. So, this comes with three little gifts. And there are all these like little gift sets. Um, they come with um, the same two products, but they're different colors. So um, they come with a lip injection lip gloss and a love flush blush. So this is the packaging for this one. I love the mint green color, like I said. Um, there's a dog on the back and it's got the same two from as the other ones did for all three of these. So, 
this comes with the blush in Dream Lover. Which every time I read the back of this, I always think of like the Mariah Carey song called Dream Lover. But it's like a really pretty purple blush. It's like a pinky purple. It's on my hand right here, but you probably can't see that. But like I said, these blushes are, um, they look dark in the pan, but they're um, not that dark when you actually swatch them. And they, like I said, they do blend out very nicely. Um, I can't wait to try this color because the color is beautiful. This um, lip gloss, I'm so excited to try because I love purple lips. And this is the Lip Injection um, Lip Gloss in Like a Boss. It's like this like creamy, like purple, like lavender color. It looks beautiful. It's got the same like doe foot applicator. And here's the purple one. It's not showing up very purple. Oh, there you, you can see. It's kind of like a lavender purple color. So the blush in this one is called Baby Love. It's like a nude blush color. And this is like a very like nude lip gloss in Milkshake. That's very, very nude. But I'm hoping this might be... Yeah, that's very nude. So this might be a little too light for my lips, but um, I can probably get it to work. And then this one is the pink packaging. And this lip gloss is... Oh, this is just the regular lip injection lip gloss, which is clear. And the blush in this is called Crazy in Love. And it's got this like hot pink packaging, which I love. And this blush is like bright pink too. And then he also got me the um, Christmas in New York chocolate shop um, palette. Which comes in this like big packaging. And this is like the same as the other one where you like take the top off. And then you like fold it down like this so you got the palette down here and then you've got this like little scene like this like couple over here is shopping and there's like a lamppost with like a cute little Christmas wreath and the, the dog and the dog's got a bird on his head you probably can't see that um but then we've got the Too Faced Shadow Insurance the Better and Better Than Sex Mascara and there's a liquid lipstick over here in the corner. This is the Melted Chocolate Liquid Lipstick and Chocolate Milkshake. Um, so this looks like this is going to be a, a brownish nude color. And then this palette. It comes out of the bottom and it looks like this. This palette has like all these like gorgeous colors over here. And then you've got a highlight, a bronzer, and a blush. So highlight, bronzer, and blush down here. 
but this looks absolutely amazing. These smell like chocolate, like the cocoa, like milk chocolate bronzer. That's what this smells like. These colors are absolutely gorgeous. I can't wait to try this palette. So then he got me one more gift, which I'm really excited about because this has been sold out forever. And they just brought it back in time for Christmas. And this is the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. Um, I actually knew I was getting this because I actually was the one who placed the, or the order. Um, I was up late one night and I saw on Instagram that they brought them back for like a limited time before Christmas. And um, I had to wait in the virtual line forever, like 45 minutes to get this. But I did get this, so I did know it was coming in the mail. So... This is kind of hard to open. Alright, there we go. So this is what the packaging looks like. It's got like this ombre color. Which is gorgeous. I love the peach over here. And then the palette looks like this. Which I love all these colors. I love like um, any like peach or pink colors. And you got like the darker colors over here. There's a beautiful green. Um, there's a purple over here. Like a another like dark glittery purple down here in the very corner. And the best thing about this palette is it smells exactly like peaches. And I'm not a huge peach person. I'm not like a big like peach scented person um usually the scent of peaches like in a product usually makes me a little nauseous nauseous cannot talk today but the um it's because they're like too like fake or like artificial but this smells exactly like peaches and if it smells exactly like peaches and then i love it and this smells exactly like peaches. And I'm not just saying that. Like, it smells literally like peaches. You can see my Christmas tree in the back. And there's my camera. Um, but like I said, these colors are beautiful. And I've wanted this palette for months. Um, this palette came out in the summer. And it was sold out in Ulta and Sephora in like two minutes. Um, the Too Faced website didn't have it. People were like calling the Too Faced um, headquarters to see if they were bringing it back. Nobody knew what was going on or if they were going to bring it back because um, this was supposed to be a limited edition palette because it was so like sought after and hyped up. Um, Too Faced decided to bring it back and I'm so glad they did because I looked on, I mean I even tried to buy this off of like eBay. And the prices were absolutely ridiculous. Like $200, $400, $500. I'm like, I'm not paying $500 for a palette. But, um, like I said, I wanted this palette for months. Um, I talked about it forever. He knew this, this, that this was what I wanted for Christmas. And I'm so glad that I got this. So, um, that's all I got for Christmas. Um, I know compared to some people's other videos, I probably didn't get a lot. Compared to some other people, I may have gotten too much. But, um, I'm very excited and very thankful for what I got. Um, like I said, I didn't really ask for too much this year. I asked for the makeup stuff for my boyfriend just because, um, I don't know. I felt really weird asking, like, my family to buy me makeup. Um, because they're not really sure, like, what I like. But with, like, my boyfriend, I can send him, like, links to certain stuff and, like, an email. So, um, like, I sent him exactly, like, the link to what I wanted. And I think he just, like, 
clicked the link and bought it. So, um, like I said, I'm very appreciative. I'm very thankful. Very blessed for what I got. And I feel very loved. So, um, I hope you all had a great Christmas like I did. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.